Hello everybody! Welcome back to my Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga playthrough. Um, in the last episode we basically got started making it through a lot of the tutorial, but now we have the Koopa Cruiser to go through. And I guess we shall proceed. Um, what do these guys have to say? Yeah, so, you may not know this, but we Bowser Baddies recently added a new member. Yep, he's in the training unit. We landed... He's in training until we land in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that last episode. You can press start to switch between the bros. This is unfortunately the only time in the game, or out of the Mario and Luigi series, that you have the opportunity to do this. And with that, you're able to get some interesting different blocks with it. So, normally when you... I'll just do this block. For the sake. And then next time we run into this block, I'll do it with Luigi in front. So, um, basically the premise of this block is to press it with the... That did not have a lot of coins in it. <laughs> the premise of the block is to hit it with the color of the bro that's on top. And, yeah, it's never gonna randomize, it's never gonna do anything. Hey, there, you two. You two mustaches, <laughs> you two mustache dudes. You're about to enter the Bean Bean Kingdom, so you must have your passports with you, right? Hmm. What passports? Oh, you mean these green and red things that have our bros points and health points on them and it says passport and has our names? What? No. But hey, there aren't any photos. These won't get you into the Bean Bean Kingdom. No, sir! No way, no how! Don't wig it out. Don't wig out about it. Though, if we take your pictures here, you should be just fine. Since the Great Bowser has called you onto the deck, I'll let you two cut the line. <laughs> so lucky. Snapping photos is easy. Just stand on that mat there, see it? Right there. Alright. Step onto it, hurry! Alright, so... I'm not done with you. Alright, so you step on it. Mr. Green Stash, you may step back. Alright, so there's cool things that you can do with this. Now, you can, um, during the photo, as he's about to take it, you can press, uh, up, down, left, right, to do different poses. So I'm just gonna do kind of the Chugga Conroy method of things, and close my eyes while waiting for it. Now, I might do the same editing style as he did with it. I don't want to copy him, but... It adds the same effect. I want to make the series original, but at the same time, there's only so much you can do. Alright, Mario, you step back. Nice and easy. Stare right into the camera. Don't press up, down, left, right, or anything. And there we go. Great, I've taken passport photos for both of you. Aren't we all happy now? Happy all around! Happy- Oh, I was expecting him to say happy again. Alright, um... Let's check out those passport photos. <laughs> Luigi's is just... Luigi's is just ridiculous. Mario's looks stupid. Luigi's also looks stupid, but it looks- It looks funnier. Funnier. That's not a- not Funnier? I know funner is not a word, but it's... You know what? I'm just gonna, like, not talk about that. Hmm. That goes there, and this goes here. Working the hold isn't easy, and if you mess up, you have to start all over again. Oh, Mario, it's me, that lost guy. Hey, thanks for telling me which way to go back in the Mushroom Kingdom. I was kind of panicking. But thanks to you, I was the first on board the Koopa Cruiser. Here, let me give you this. So you get a one-up mushroom. And I actually forgot about that. Happy I did it. 
I get, I get easily distracted. Um, it's actually kind of interesting. We actually have two one-up mushrooms now, which is actually a lot more than what we'll need for now. Smash that barrel. Hey, watch it, you clumsy oafs! Don't let, don't break the great Bowser's cargo. It's important stuff. This babbling man. The deck? The deck is just up ahead. But uh but before you go there, I need need to make sure you won't slow Lord Bowser down. So I'll teach you how to fight as a pair. Please do! Go ahead and have a look at that barrel over there. But remember, you're about to face one of Bowser's most elite troops, so prepare yourselves. So you go up here and you break the barrel. Now, the most quote-unquote elite troop is a basic Goomba, which actually kind of sucks because these are some of the only Goombas you actually face in the game right now, which I kind of wish you faced them more. You face similar enemies, but you never face Goombas again. Well, mm, later in the game you do, but not these ones. Now then, little baddies attack Mario, attack! Alright. Compress the jump button to avoid just like Bowser's Fire in the tutorial. Now, Mr. Lean and Green, that's a name. Only if. All right. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. You press the B button, and instead of jumping over it, you can also counterattack. So depending on the timing of the jump, you can not only dodge but counterattack, which makes the uh, it's tougher to time, but it's more effective. Alrighty then. Oh, whoops! I almost forgot. <laughs> you attack the same way as when there's only one of you. Except Mr. Lean and Green uses the B button for his attack commands. Press the B button when you want to jump on an enemy. Now, you can practice up! Alright. So now, from the last fight, we also have a new panel, which is pretty obvious. It's a used items panel. Um, for recovery items... All right, solo. Um, but it's the same basic fight, except I believe Luigi does less damage. Uh, well, actually, currently he doesn't. Oh, I missed that. All right. Um, but these enemies are easy, and then right now we also get into a new thing: XP and money. If we got any from the battle, um, we got four XP from the battle which means next battle we'll be able to fight. So, if you did not do the tutorial, they basically force you into doing the tutorial. Want to break the barrel? Yes. So, there's a Goomba in it. Uh, same, same basic fight. Jump on the Goombas. Try and counterattack the best to your abilities. And, easy fight. Um, but now we have something new, a Mario level up. So, level ups are level ups. They improve all your stats, and you can change some of the stats. So, um, a lot of people didn't know this, but when, when I was younger, and I know for a fact a lot of people when they were younger, didn't know you can actually switch between all of the different stats. And the one that I personally favor in the beginning is POW, as anyone would, but when I was a child, for some reason, I was addicted to choosing health, despite me knowing that I could pick other ones. So, lucky? There was a three? I don't even know you could get a three on the first level up. But now that that power is raised, over here. Okay. Um, when we get into our next battle, we're going to notice that Mario's power is going to be increased to when we hit it perfectly from 2 to 3. Ha! Hoof! Harf! It's too quick, I can't catch it! And I have to get ready for the Bean Bean immigration. Oh, it's Mario and Mr. Greeny. Can you two help me out? I'll teach you something important about going into battle with the process. Now, you can catch these guys, but first, you have to stomp on them to start the battle. So, this is the 
introduction of first strikes. And that's right, if you stop on a monster as you enter battle, it'll start the battle by taking damage. Youch! Well, isn't that super cool? Anyway, the rest is up to you. Oops, I forgot something. If you fail to stop on the monster and it hits you, <laughs> hits the dude in the back when you enter the battle, then the guy can't move until his turn comes. Watch out! Alright, so that's basically it. It's talking about. Oh, okay, well, that sucks. I thought it would. Mario's attack would do 3 damage. And we also have Luigi's level up. So. Yeah. I'll just pick the same pal. Three? One! Oh, come on. Well, that sucked. Alright. Hey, can you get that other guy? Now, as you can see, I got first strike there, and Luigi started on the ground. So I wanted to show the um, getting first struck and first striking an enemy. Um, Luigi, uh, the bro doesn't always get back up on their turn. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. And that wraps that up. These Goombas are actual jokes. Ooh, thanks. And both Goomba cargos are done. Now I'm all ready. All right, so up here is the, what is this? Save album. Hit it off, then to save your travels. Now I'm gonna be saving at a different location, so I'm not gonna go to that right now. And hitting that block will activate the pinch crane. I like to call it Mr. Pinch. Don't ask me why. In case it's not really obvious, you should be able to use old pinch to move the cargo. Huh? Buh? What in the hey? Who did this? Who put the cargo in this area? How are we supposed to get to the deck in this way? So, over here is how you're supposed to get to the deck, but it's blocked off by cargo. So, let's hit the obvious button that is Mr. Pinch. It's going for Luigi, as the Luigi hate continues. Uh oh, looks like the crane mistook you for some. mistook you for cargo. That looks uncomfortable. Hey, since you're up there, why don't we have you as a lookout? Now we have Luigi as a... What? This is something else I didn't get. Hmm, nice work. You can go back below decks now. Now, I don't know, but is Lu Luigi's obviously using binoculars, right? But, like, why is his eyes popping through the binoculars and then, like, the lens are not there anymore? Oh, wait. I'm just making myself confused. There's a fireball. Rawr, what now? Oh no, it's bad guy who we don't know name of yet. Actually, I think, oh great, Cacoletta. I just skipped over that text. You, you're the Bane who stole Peach's voice. How dare you put pull off such a cool evil plan. Yeah, oh, I dare. And now I'm going straight back to the Bean Bean Kingdom so my next plan can take root. I have no time to chat with the likes of you. Fawful, take care of this! Now, Fawful is a character that you will learn to love. Yeah! I am the great Cacoletta's most best pupil, who is named Fawful. I am here, laughing at you. If you are giving us the chase just to get your silly princess's voice, then you are idiots of foolishness! Princess Peach's sweet voice will soon be the bread that makes the sandwich of Cacoletta's desires. And this battle shall be the delicious mustard on the bread. The mustard of your doom! And then it shoots Bowser. Boom, he's dead. Over. Boom. No more Mario games. He's done. Not a prank, bro. He's still alive as Cacoletta 
pull Kakla. Thoughtful pull some next level old school Mario Brothers. No physics as you run through the sides of you know what? No one probably gets what I'm talking about. Alright, so welcome to the first, I guess quote unquote mini boss, or boss per se. This is the tutorial boss. But it's not a difficult boss. It's more of a mini boss than anything. But you do the same basic things. But this time, there's one enemy and both bros. So he's gonna be, he's gonna have to aim for different bros at different times. Oh, grr. So, this is basically talking about, um, when he says, what he says before, he says Fink Rat. When it's in red text, he'll aim for Mario. And when it's green text, he'll aim for Luigi. Now, it's not like that with every enemy. But, well, all enemies have a different hint into their attack and who they're going for. But Fawful... Fawful... It's not always going to be Fawful's way. They're not always going to say something to do it. They might do a moving animation, or they might look a certain way. So keep your eyes on all enemies to see which one's which. It's pretty obvious which enemy they're attacking, but just in case, uh, just just be weary. Um, same basic attack. Right here. Have you read <laughs> readiness for this? So basically, with that, he attacked both bros. But he attacked Mario first because of the red this. Have you readiness for this? Oh, Mario to Luigi then. Um, so Fawful, Fawful's just as basic as a basic starter boss can get. Now Fawful's attack will be a little bit different. Now you can counterattack. Still basic fight. This is actually kind of an underwhelming fight. no real commentary I could put over this, it's just the same basic fight. Oof! Urgh. How could think rats like you be such an awful nasty like me? Uh, like me. As me! It's simile anyway. Headgear? No, like, I don't get that. Like, if Fawful had the headgear, like, why did the headgear fall off? Bah! Now when the when the talking stops, I do not have time to stop and smell foul roses such as you. One fell swoop is way, is way I will deal with think. Talkle, talkle, Fawful's speech is just so different than any enemy in any game that I have a lot of trouble speaking it. Now he's he's blowing up the ship. Yeah. And it blows up. General Starshade, a massive explosion has been sighted. Confirmation, I need confirmation. General Starshade. Meteors sighted. Impact and Stardust Field. Initiate recon. Emergency! Emergency! Bean Bean Borderland. And we just trapped underground. All right. So now we are in the, the first quote-unquote dungeon of the area of the game, I should say, but it's not really a dungeon because it's still kind of introduction, quote-unquote. The Koopa, K Koopa Cruiser, we haven't finished paying it off. <laughs> um, f find Lord Bowser. Oh, gag. Help us. B Bowser fell er, on the other side of the border. All right, so we could go to the other side of the border. But I'll leave that to next episode. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions or would like to watch more of my videos. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you. Oh, I accidentally did that. Okay.